Hi there. Uh, we're here doing a live honeybee removal from a church building in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, here in Jacksonville, we haven't seen the influx of African bees, so-called killer bees, yet, uh, like we've seen further south, down in um, Ocala, on down into the state. The bees are in a building wall. I want to show you where they are right now. So here's our box we got all set up. Here's a smoker smoking away. And then in this old building. Whoo! I have to lose my smoker. Oh, shit. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. One of the hazards of uh, doing bee removal. <laughs> you could set the whole place on fire. So here we go. Now we've got an opening right here. You can see the bees right there. Now that's an opening in the wall and uh, the bees are located probably right about here. There's a cross base that runs right through here. So they're located right about there. Now if we look down, there's another opening here. Okay. That's another opening where the bees are going in, so they have two openings. Anyway, we're going to get started here, uh, cut out the wall, smoke them up, and then uh, hopefully show you some comb and what have you in the process of uh, putting them into a box. Okay, what you're seeing now is a portion of the comb that I exposed. This is a pretty fresh uh, honeycomb here, and this is uh, the brood comb. Uh, brood means babies. So uh, I've got a bit more to go here. It's a little larger than I thought and uh, I don't know if you can see but these bees are fairly defensive. Uh, I've been smoking them up quite a bit which usually keeps them calm but uh, you know, they've been coming in <laughs> hitting hard. Anything that moves I've got them. I don't know if you can see. They're coming to the camera coming to my hands and uh, I mean that's what bees do when you cut into the the uh, their home but you know m one of my considerations is that we have a nursing home right across the street over there right there we look over there and luckily there's not too much activity but uh, I've got bees pinging into me left and right anyway uh, so you know this is a, a little more defensive than what I thought Nothing like we have down in Daytona or uh, Orlando. But uh, we'll open it up some more and show it to you when I get fully exposed. Okay, we got the bottom exposed. And uh, right now I can see three plates here as we come up. It's about uh, maybe four feet, five feet long. And uh, I've been smoking the heck out of the bees. They're still pinging us. But uh, as we come down here, here's a brood nest right here at the bottom, right where we'd expect it. And uh, I tell you, it looks a little spotty to me. We we'll see these pupa here, and there's some pupa there. What we want to see is, you know, a um, pupa that is very, very filled in. But, uh, oh man, I'm getting stung up here. I can see quite a few of them here. These, these are still pretty hot. And uh, here's the girls here on the bottom. And uh, so that's it. We're going to go ahead and start placing them in that box right there. This is a process that uh, definitely takes time. And uh, I'll probably get you know quite a few stings doing it because I like to not wear heavy gloves. And uh, you know, we'll see what we get here at the end. I don't, I don't know if we're going to be successful or not. Um, but uh, we'll give it a go and I'll show you the end result. Okay, well here's some uh, excess comb that I couldn't uh, use inside the hive box, which is right there. That's the uh, hive box. I've got about five frames of cut comb. Ow! Ooh, another sting. Ah, that's about, oh, number 20. Uh, and sometimes they get right at the base of the back. 
Mm, it's probably good for my arthritis, but man, oh, a lot of nerves right there. Anyway, as you can see right here, we still have plenty of bees inside the wall. We have plenty of them still hitting my uh, my hand. And if we take a tip right over here, what we want to see are bees going inside uh, the hive box. And uh, I think they're starting to do it. Now, eventually, all these that are here are just going to start making a bee line down here and into the box. That's the hope, anyway. So, uh, you know, looking back at this, I don't know if I should have done this, this hive removal, because, uh, boy, we must have had 20 employees of this nursing home over here in this uh, lot, you know, and they were, I guess, getting off work. And uh, just hanging out, things were cool, but uh, all it would have taken was this one bee sting, and who knows what would have happened. This is the dangers of doing live removals. Um, you know, this one probably wasn't worth it, given the liability over there. But uh, nevertheless, we're here. Uh, we hope we get some good bees. Hope they take up residence inside the hive box. Let's take one more look. And... Uh, no, I'm not getting much activity. Yeah, we should be seeing them going in the uh, um, in the box because there's babies in there. Look at that! I got bees just actively trying to sting me. I mean, they are—they're uh, not happy. This is what happens. You try to—you know—you remove their home. They're gonna—they're gonna come after you. So uh, they're not all gentle. <laughs> anyway, this is Richard Martiniak, AllFloridaBeeRemoval.com. And uh, we're here in Jacksonville, Florida, about to finish up this live removal of bees. And uh, you can reach us at 800-343-5317 or allfloridabeeremoval.com.